Welcome back to iSpring Video Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to edit audio in your courses. In the previous tutorial, Recording Video Narration, I recorded some audio. I'm going to use this to show you the ropes. I'm going to begin by importing the audio into this new project by heading to Manage Narration in the toolbar, then selecting Audio. iSpring supports all the most popular audio formats including MP3, WAV, and WMA. From here I can import as many files as I like by selecting them and then hitting open. Now you have the option to import slides starting from your cursor position or from the beginning of any slide you select. You can also select this adjust slide duration button if you want to automatically adjust the duration of each slide to match your audio clip length. I'm going to adjust my slide length manually later. Now that all my files have been opened in the timeline, I'm ready to edit. But first, I'm going to quickly zoom out my view of the timeline by adjusting this slider. There, now I can see the whole project. I want to begin by editing this first clip. To do this, I will right click and select Edit Clip. This will bring up the audio editor for this clip. The first thing I'm going to do is the Remove Noise Filter. I love that iSpring has this option so that I can filter out some of the ambient and background noise and make my recording sound more professional. Next, I'm going to trim up the intro and outro to get rid of the unwanted ends. To do this, I simply highlight the area on the timeline that I want to keep, then select the Trim button from the menu bar, and the extra space before and after the voiceover disappears. Now I want to adjust the volume of my clip. There are two ways that I can do this. The first way is by adjusting the volume of the whole clip by selecting the Adjust Volume button and then adjusting the slider. See how the waveform grows and shrinks when I slide the bar? I can give it a listen at any time to make sure it's sounding OK. Welcome to this employee. I'm happy with this, so I'll select OK to apply the settings. The second way to adjust the volume, and a more precise way, is to select just a portion of the audio I want to edit, and then select Adjust Volume from the toolbar. Now you'll see that when I slide the bar, it only affects the highlighted area. Welcome to this employee. Sounds good. Let's move on. As you can see in the menu bar, you also have the option to fade your audio in and out. Those options are best for music, so I won't be applying them to my voiceover. Okay, that's all I want to do to this audio clip, so I will save and close the audio editor to head back to Manage Narration. From this view, I can adjust where my audio actually sits in the timeline. I'll use the zoom bar to get right in close to look at this. Now that I have a close-up view of my first slide and audio, I'll adjust the audio by selecting and dragging it. I'm going to move this audio clip over so there's a bit of a pause before it starts. There. Now I can see that my slide is a little too long, so I'll adjust it as well by simply dragging the end to make it shorter. Perfect. Let's watch it to see if I've got the timing right. Welcome to this employee fast motor sales training. Yep, that is just right. Now that I'm happy with the adjustments that I've made, I'm going to go ahead and save and close and head back to PowerPoint. And there we have it. Now you know just how easy it can be to edit your voiceover narration with iSpring Suite.